my channel as you guys have seen it by the title of today's video I will be putting on a full face of makeup yeah, the temperature right now is actually 28 degrees like what the hell it's so warm we're in September and it's nearly 30 degrees which is absolutely insane you guys must think that I am absolutely crazy for putting on a full face of makeup however I need to put makeup on because I do have quite a few important videos to film today and I need to be looking my best on camera you know so I am going to attempt to be doing a soft kind of glam makeup look it's very easy to do very simple but it's still very glam and it's one of my favourite makeup looks to do on myself so I might as well kind of do my makeup on camera and talk to you guys and answer some of your guys' questions because the people have been messaging me on Instagram and leaving comments on my YouTube videos and asking the sanitary questions so I thought that I will kind of answer them. In this type of video also I've had my hair cut, it feels so much better shorter however I feel so like lost about my longer hair honestly if you want to have a good chop off your hair highly recommend it it's so much quicker to dry it's so much quicker to wash your hair as well it is just a lot easier to maintain so i'm kind of feeling the new hair um, and you may also be thinking you sound a bit manly at the moment yes i do have a bit of a cold i always get a cold at this time of the year but my ears always get blocked when i have a cold i have had a lot of hearing problems as a child especially when I used to get colds and stuff because I can hardly hear a thing so bear with me I may be sounding a bit ugh today but he's going to put up with it <laughs> you know but anyway I'm going to make a start on my makeup because I need to get a move on now my face is absolutely sweating the makeup is going to sweat off my face today you've got to do what you've got to do I've I've got to get my YouTube videos filmed, you know, on the on the YouTube roll at the moment. So yeah, yeah let's get on with the video. I was actually working this morning, and I never really wear makeup for work because I've got to wake up at four o'clock in the morning. I mean, who's really going to be wanting to put the lashes on and and contour in the face, you know? So it's now time for me to glam myself up. I feel very bare and very spotty. My skin has been breaking out a lot at the moment, so. I'm actually going to start off with eyebrows. All the products I will be using today, I actually use these as my daily kind of makeup products because I love them so much. But for eyebrows, I will be using my Morphe Eyebrow Pomade in Latte, and I will be using my Peaches and Cream Eyebrow Brush. And I'm just going to brush my eyebrows out because they really need to be brushed out. I could probably do with waxing them, but I mean, I, honestly, I can't talk today, guys. Like, I am. Um, literally it messed my words up all day today that is brilliant that is honestly brilliant when i've got a lot of youtube videos to film but you know what it's fine like a story of my life but you know but yeah this eyebrow pomade is so good to apply on your eyebrows it adds a lot of shape and colour to them um so yes this is like a really boring part of makeup so like I probably won't keep on on my eyebrows for so long but yeah this is how I do my eyebrows pretty much it's pretty simple I line the bottom and then the top and then fill it in yeah, that's my eyebrow pretty much done kind of eyebrows on fleek I think so yeah, my eyebrows are now filled in and it's now time to put an eye base on for my eyeshadow I will be using the P. Louise base in 0. Five. and speaking of P. Louise I actually had a delivery from P. Louise this morning like how pretty is that pink open it up it says say hi to your new favourite brand you've got great taste your purchase bought into my dreams how cute is that and then it comes with a little kind of like P. Louise kind of thing how cute is that and then are you ready to see what I've ordered? I actually ordered six brand new bases and nothing satisfies me more than seeing a brand new makeup unopened, untouched and the packaging is all crisp and clean and brand new. So I've actually ordered six bases. Uh, P. Louise actually have a deal on of six bases for £45 because they usually retail for £10 each um, and 
Yeah, you only get a certain shades, but I think you get from 0 0.5 up until shade 5. So I'm pretty buzzing. And if you guys don't actually know, I am actually becoming a self employed makeup artist. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, yeah, that I will be renting a room in a salon near my house. So yeah, that is pretty exciting. Um, I'm just kind of waiting you know, to see if I can change my contract at the job I'm working at at the moment it's not the weekends because I'm actually contracted the weekends however makeup appointments are always fully booked for weekends so I kind of need to change my contract so I'm in the process of I'm in the process of hopefully changing my contract um, so that's looking up and then uh, hopefully in a few weeks I will I will be working as a self-employed makeup artist as well as working in my other job as well um, doing makeup and waxing so that's pretty exciting I finally feel ready to take this leap in my life and take and take a bit of a risk as well because becoming self-employed becoming self-employed can be risky um, you've got to do all your own finances you've got control of everything it's going to be a lot to take on but I'm very excited for this journey guys honestly and then now, after the base is all applied, these bases are so pigmented, I love them so much, so pretty. I will be using my Morphe 35X O Valentine's palette. This palette is a palette of dreams. Look at this beauty. She is absolutely stunning. So I will be using You Up for my eyes. Because it's like a lovely brown and nude colour and it's perfect for soft... It's perfect for soft glam makeup looks and I'm actually using a Spectrum A12 brush. Are these actually are the mean girl ones. I actually bought them off my sister because she doesn't really wear makeup as such, you know, but it's fine. I'm just going to kind of pat this on and build up the pigment. Also, Scott has actually moved into his premises, so basically... It, oh, yeah, that's my camera lens cap broke. Basically, he he actually has a shop above a shop, if that makes any sense. So basically, he's actually got uh, two rooms above a kind of, uh, not like a sweet shop, but uh, they sell milkshakes, ice creams, waffles, all sorts of stuff. And he's working above there. He's got his own kitchen, and then like, he's got his own uh, kind of lounge room. And oh my god, it's so nice. So he's all moved in there, so he'll be able to expand his cake business even further now, which is very exciting for him. So our lives are kind of changing now, you know. Anyway, I'm just kind of blending using the same colour. Eyes are all done now, I'm moving swiftly onto the eye glitter. I will be using this Too Faced glitter glue to kind of like make the glitter stick to my eyes if that makes any sense and I will be using the gorgeous Gatsby pigment from Peaches and Cream because it's the most prettiest pink I was going to say pink I mean it's the most prettiest it's the most prettiest silvery gold you colour for your eyes honestly it is it's all to my favourite I'll never use anything else so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a random brush I think it's from Body Care actually but it's a really good brush for glitter glue so what I'm going to do is basically just apply it on the middle of my eye like, like so as you can see but just around the middle of my eye and add some more if I need some more on so what I'm going to do is grab the glitter oh I love this makeup look this is going to go everywhere but I mean it's fine I'm, I'm used to getting eye glitter and makeup everywhere it's such a pretty colour, look at that. I'm using like a random flat brush again. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm actually obsessed with this colour. I'm just going to pat it on gently to create a lovely kind of goldy colour on my eyes and get the glitter all stuck to my eyes. It's so gold and so pretty. And then I'll just use some excess brown just to kind of blend it in a bit. I've actually just applied the eyeliner off camera. It makes it so much easier because my eyeliner takes forever. However, <laughs> that round actually anyway. Um, I am now using the Nivea Men Pour Shave Balm. 
I use this all the time as a primer on myself and also on my clients as well. It smells incredible. Also, a lot of people have been asking if me and Scott are secretly moving like in together. So he moves out of his house now, I move out of my house, move into our, like our own house. I think it's because I uploaded an, an IKEA kind of vlog and people were kind of asking if we were moving in together. Um, I mean, I would I'd love to say, of course we are, but if not at the moment. If we've obviously had talks about moving in together and stuff, but we've only been going out just over a year, so like one year and two months as I'm filming this. I think out of the both of us, he definitely wants to move out like sooner because he is a year older than me. It's so like he's like a year ahead of what I am, if you know what I mean. We've obviously had talks about it, but I just wouldn't be ready because I will be setting up a self-employed soon. I only have, well, like, life's a bit busy at the moment and I also, I would also want to save as much as I can before actually buying a house or renting a house or a flat. It doesn't always have to be buying or renting a house, does it? Um, it could be a flat. At the moment, we're not moving out. I'm sorry to disappoint a few people if you were thinking that we were moving out together, but we're not. Um, I think the ideal age for me will probably be, I'm trying to think, probably like in two years maybe. Because by then I'll be nearly 22. Oh my god, I'm going to be 20 this year guys. Can we just take a moment? Like, how how is this baby faced looking girl going to be... 20 in a month pretty much like what the hell my birthday is on the 31st of October I am a spooky Halloween baby you know in case you're wondering I am actually using the Dream Satin Liquid Foundation by Maybelline uh, Maybelline Foundations have definitely upped the game like uh, the coverage and all of them especially this one it is a very a dewy foundation it actually blends really nicely and really easily where i live in carlisle a lot of people probably already know about the flooding and stuff that happens in carlisle but it usually floods a lot in the autumn and winter time and my work is actually prone to being flooded it's been flooded quite a few times so like imagine if I turn up to work and like, it's all underwater, like, what will I do? I'll just have to turn back around and not go into work or something. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, that's the only thing, even if you live from where I live. Like, it floods a lot. Where my house is, we live on a hill, so like, it's not that bad. A lot of houses are just, like, on a lower ground, or very flat ground as well, so that it won't be good for when it floods. It'll be getting flooded again. Yeah, what is your guys' favourite uh, type of eye looks to... And create on yourself because mine are probably very like it's just gonna be really boring but probably like a brownie kind of like a bit of glare on your eyes and that's probably it like as much as i love doing bright colorful pinky bluey greeny eye looks it's just a lot of effort and it made you stand out a lot <laughs> like i remember when i did a pink like a neon pinky eye look on my eyes and I went out the house. A lot of people stared at me. Like, they're not in disgust, but they were a bit horrified as to why I had like a neon pink eyes. But like, I was just kind of embracing it because, I mean, you've got to advertise your own kind of work, whether that is a painting, uh, what else, baking. It's just the same. You just got to advertise it, so that's why I like to go up the house when I have my makeup done so that uh, people can look at me and think, oh, her makeup's nice. You've got to have a business head on you guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm all new to this businessy kind of stuff, and Scott uh, does have like a bit more experience compared to me in business, and uh, he is kind of helping me lift myself on my feet a bit in that kind of area. Um, so, I do have a good teacher uh, for the business side of things when. As we eventually to go self-employed. I've seemed to have a lot of questions about uh, Scott and I think another of them, another, another one, another one, why can't I talk? Another question I was asked 
was it's you and Scott they see each other a lot and I would say we do see each other probably two to three times a week depending on how busy we it depends on how busy we are obviously he does have a lot of cake orders um, and I work in the mornings but sometimes have makeup clients like in the afternoons so it was up we do have to work around our very busy schedules um, and I would say that if we probably like if we do see each other a good amount I think it's like a nice balance he doesn't he lives like down the road or anything he does they live in like a different kind of town to me so you know like I can't just pop down and see him I mean I could but it would take me 40 45 minutes to get to his house which is kind of like a long time but also not because there's couples who live like four hours away from each other which I think is like a wow a well done for being a well done for being why can't I talk a well done for being able to keep your relationship going you know anyway i'm now using Too Faced bronzer it's i actually got this for my 18th birthday and yeah, my 20th birthday is coming up as i said before so it's only two years old and it's only recently hit pan so i mean it's a very long lasting bronzer and now it looks sun kissed yes a very bronze but i love it now it'll be time to it, it'll be time to set my face with some candy cosmetics setting spray and I will be using my most favourite hair in the world Doll Beauty because she is beautiful honestly Doll Beauty makeup is so underrated I highly recommend you try it out if you haven't already but, but before I apply the highlighter I want to apply this shake it up as much as I can then I'm just going to set my face that feels so much better when you set your face because like it kind of cools your face down a bit and it, it's a perfect product to use right now because yeah it, it's so warm but the good the thing with having like a bronzy makeup look today is that because it's really sunny and warm outside it'll it'll make me it'll look like I've kind of caught the sun a bit on my face which I like time for eyelashes honestly eyelashes I am addicted to eyelashes the ones i'll be using today are the doll beauty honey ones a limited edition they're actually so pretty these lashes and doll beauty lashes are very good quality as well you can probably see i have a bit of like a a change in color on my neck i like to use a slightly dark foundation because it looks better on my skin i actually need to buy a new one it's ivory so like it's like a it's still like a nude colour but it's like slightly darker compared to my skin yeah it, it makes your face look more bronze that's why I, I like using that foundation but I'm going to need these now oh my god I, I love this makeup look so much like it's oh god that's blinding it, it's so simple but so nice and now time for a bit of eyeshadow on my lash line to kind of kind of like a colour the bottom of my eyes up I'm, I'm going to be using uh, this brush I used to apply the eyeshadow and uh, use the same shade as before. It's such a lovely brown colour this. I'm perfect for glam looks. And maybe even add a bit of like a darker colour in there as well. And just add a wee bit of mascara on my bottom lashes and then I'll move on to the lips. In the final step of this makeup look. Woo. And now time for lips guys. In my favourite lip combo is the Morphe lip liner in Crush and a Peach and Cream Gloss in Suede. It's like a pinky nude colour but it's absolutely stunning so I'm going to line my lips. And then time to do my lips. I'm excited for this bit. I will have to find my lip brush actually. Oh my god why have I forgotten something for the video? I've just found a random kind of revolution brush. I'll never use it for my lips but it's now going to be my own kind of own lip brush now. I'm just getting a dollop <laughs> a dollop I'm just going to put it on my lips mm. such a pretty colour honestly there we go oh my god I feel so glam I feel so girly again I don't feel as disgusting as I did at the start of the video so that's always a win win oh my god 
I look so different now. I'm actually here for this makeup look. So here it concludes the video. If you have enjoyed this video and really like this makeup look, make sure to leave a thumbs up and also leave a comment if you want me to film some more kind of makeup videos or different type of videos, just leave a comment or some video suggestions because I'm always open to video ideas as I do want to film the videos that you guys enjoy watching so yeah and also make sure to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everybody!